Justin Wick, uh, head men's basketball coach here at UMD. This is my sixth season with the Bulldogs. It was awesome to kind of see our team come together uh, late in February, really. Um, I, I thought our guys really got hot down the stretch. Uh, our last four or five regular season games uh, carried over to the conference tournament. And then just to see us play our best basketball in the regional tournament, not only get our first NCAA tournament win of all time, which was a, which was a pretty, cool, uh, pretty cool deal, uh, but then to be able to string together uh, three games in four days, and that was some of the best basketball uh, that, that this group has played. So uh, to see us do that on that stage, uh, it was awesome to see a lot of the, the hard work, a lot of the, the, the dreams of these guys. These guys all came here three, four, or five years ago with that goal in mind and to see them finally pull it off was a, was a pretty special deal. For us, we just always talk about the process and just trying to uh, really stay in the moment and try to have the best practice we can have on a day-by-day -day basis. And uh, try not to get caught up too much in what your record is or uh, what's, you know, what's coming up in the future. Uh, hopefully we can keep getting better, uh, keep trying to emphasize uh, the right things, especially on the defensive end, I thought. Um, our team really found its, uh, you know, really found its groove on the defensive end when we got to when we got to March. So um, it was fun to see our guys compete in that moment. We've got a ton of really competitive guys in our program right now. So um, when we can get in those bigger games, I like our chances because our, our our guys really rise to that challenge. I think our guys understand with the message that we've been talking about of just trying to stay in the moment. And we've been preaching that message with our guys really for the last four years with this group. Um, it started all the way back during COVID. You had no choice but to just kind of stay in the moment and uh, you didn't know if you were gonna play a game the next day or practice the next day. So that's kind of where it started with us. Um, but then it really carried over to the next couple of years of uh, whether you win, lose, uh, whatever the expectations are, uh, you don't get any extra points for what you did last year. So um, it's gonna be a challenge for sure. And, uh, even though we had a great year last year, we, you know, we lost 10 games last year. So it's not like we were, you know, 30, you know, and uh, nobody can beat you. So uh, I think for us, it's about just trying to stay in the moment, keep playing together. I think our guys have even more so had a really unselfish uh, demeanor on the offensive end, which I think has really helped us this year and hopefully will help us as we um, as we get into, uh, you know, later part of the season and hopefully uh, postseason run again. We love living here in this city. We've lived a lot of different places. As a college coach, you, you, uh, you, move, you move around quite often, but this city is, ha, has become home for us. Um, an awesome city for our kids to grow up in with the schools and the activities here and uh, a lot of the friends that we've been able to make here uh, in our six years. So uh, we love living here. Um, all the stuff you can do here, especially, you know, in, in the wintertime, we're playing basketball, but you get to the spring, summer, and fall, this is a, a really special place uh, to live. Uh, we really try to get out and enjoy it as much as we can. But the people here are, you know, top notch and people in the community, but also people here on campus in our athletic department. Uh, we've got great people around here. I think that's what attracted me here. And it's what has, has helped us to really enjoy our time here for sure. Uh, favorite part about being a Bulldog, I just enjoy coming to work every day, quite honestly. I know this is a really special place academically, athletically. Uh, it's an awesome city to live in. Uh, I feel really spoiled, you know, spoiled sometimes uh, to be living here and, 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 and doing what I'm doing. So I love coming to work every day. I love working with our student athletes. Uh, we've got some amazing kids uh, that really excel in the classroom uh, and they'll excel once they're done playing basketball as well. But uh, just enjoy the day to day. Uh, enjoy the people I'm working with. and. Uh, and enjoy the guys that I'm coaching for sure. Uh, it's been fun. We've, we've had a ton of success here, obviously. I think it's a really fun style of play. Uh, we got some really athletic guys, guys that can score it. Um, but I think what a basketball fans really appreciate is just how hard our guys play. Uh, whether the score is in the 60s or the 90s, um, the effort level is there for our guys every night. Uh, the character level of our guys are there. We've got a really strong program, old guys, young guys. We've got a lot of uh, diehard fans and we have a lot of new fans as well. So it's turned, it turned into a really fun and exciting uh, environment. Our students have really came out in full force over the last couple of years. I think that's made a big difference for us. So um, I can guarantee you, you'll, you'll have fun. You'll watch an exciting brand of basketball. Uh, our women's team is doing the same thing as well. So it's a really good uh, three to four hour stretch to come watch some good basketball.